Well, hello there, and welcome to episode two of Shannon's Glamour Makeovers. Oh, this is Sebastian. This is my friend. He's just going to hang out here and watch me do a little makeover. Uh, obviously, today's episode is Little Mermaid. Um, the reason why I want to do The Little Mermaid today is because um, I'm inspired by Disney as well as being a musical theater. So as you can tell, I've been <laughs> trying to do the, the aerial style look. And I've been trying to like get this down a little bit more. Oh, there. Oh, that's a little, that's much better. Okay. It was looking a little rockabilly earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. My lighting is looking a little funky for this. So I'm going to change it a little bit. No. I guess I will. Okay. I don't have any makeup on. So that's why you see a lot of pink going on right now. Okay. So right now we're going to go ahead and start with our foundation, which is our e.l.f. Alabaster for neutral pink tones. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the foundation. It's going to look a little splotchy until I blended it. So um, basically, I'm really into stage makeup. So I'm going to kind of pretend that this is for a show at Disneyland or for theater. And for theater, you really got to kick on the makeup. You can't, you can't play around with it. That's why it's starting to look a little masky. It's looking a little masky. Okay. So we're getting this started. Okay. I'm just kind of I gotta start blending this here. Okay. It's looking like a hot mess. All right, I'm gonna use this my friend here, and his name is, this is SpongeBob. And SpongeBob is gonna help blend the foundation. I'm a real, big fan of this little sponge thing. I've never really used a sponge for my makeup. I have always like used my hands all the time and I don't think that's really good for your skin if you're always using your hands because you have oils on your hands and that could cause blemishes. You don't want blemishes. I'm trying to get some coverage here. And then to blend a little bit. My ring light keeps changing. It's it's lighting on me for some reason. Um, so we really want to get up in the forehead there and the hairline. So we're starting off with kind of like the base. And I'm going to see how long I can do this or how quick I can do this because my phone battery is kind of like telling me, hey, might want to charge it. I charged it a little bit before I did this. So, okay. And definitely next we're going to use our e.l.f. concealer. It's my best friend. I love my e.l.f. concealer. And we're going to definitely... Go under here. This this helps open your eyes a little more. Definitely around the nose, wherever the redness is at. We're just gonna make sure that everything is covered. <laughs> Looks like a yeah, it's pretty freakish when you see right now. But don't worry, kids. We're going to be Ariel in no time. So what you see behind me is um, a 
a big poster of Halloween, Halloween time at Disneyland. And I got it on Amazon for $20, you guys. And the reason why I got it is because when it was 2020, you know, that horrible year, when the pandemic was shutting everything down, Disneyland was closed and it was pretty sad. So I wanted to feel like, you know, we could go to Disneyland at any time. So I, I got this and I put it in my basement. So, all right, I'm doing the forehead. I have a big forehead. Okay. Don't want to miss certain spots. Again, hairline. There goes my little poof again. Looking all funky. One of my friends said that she wanted me to do mermaid makeup. So I went ahead and I'm like, okay, cool. Well, that's easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So now we have our, <laughs> I know it looks a little weird. We have our look. Sebastian, what do you think? I don't know. He's pretty quiet right now. I don't think he's enthused or amused with any of this. So we are going to go ahead. I think we are done with this. I don't want my phone to die just because I've been blotting. Okay. Next, definitely need to shape my brows. So, I need to find my eyebrow pencil. This is just a standard dollar store brow pencil. And we're just going to really shape and darken the brows here. Again, we're doing... We're not going to be subtle. When I do makeup tutorials, it's not to be subtle. You want to feel beautiful and glamorous. So we're really going to do, make sure everything is enhanced. Cause that was, that's what makeup's about, you guys. I shaped my eyebrows the other day, so. Oh, we're good. Okay, we got the eyebrows. And then next, what we want to do is do a little bit of getting some more coloring on our face so we don't look like a ghost. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put some blush on. There we go. You definitely want to have the cheeks to be full, full of life. It's all about character. Okay, now we got our cheeks. So this is the apples of the cheeks. Definitely want to do the apples of the cheeks. I don't want to do any contouring for cheekbones because she didn't have that. <laughs> she wasn't a diva. Okay. Okay. And now that we did that, we're going to go ahead and start with the eyes. So because she's under the sea a lot, we're going to go ahead and I'm wearing a purple shirt. Um, I don't have a I'm not wearing a show bra for this, so we're just wearing a shirt. And yes, it is Ariel. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and since I'm wearing a purple shirt, I think we're going to go ahead and start with a little bit of plum on the eyes. So I'm going to find my awesome mermaid brush for my eyes. If I could find it, that would be awesome. Uh, one of these days I'll get a professional makeup kit. One of these days. So, but I kind of want to do a little bit of highlighting up here. 
a little bit of highlighting on underneath the arch of the eyebrows. This opens up your eyes a little bit more too. And a little bit on the lid. I'm gonna see if I could beat my 30 minute makeup time that I did last time. We're already at 10, so we can do this. Okay, there goes my hair again, looking all funky. All right, next, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit, it's called Neutron. This is just to get a little bit of color. So we look alive. And since we're under the sea, I think we'll go ahead and we'll do a little bit of Pisces. Isn't that funny? Pisces is a fish. Fish sign. My mom was a, is a Pisces too. So. A little bit more. You definitely want to have a marine look. So we'll go a little bit higher here. You don't want to go Ursula. You want to go Mermaid. <laughs> Okay, so we have our marina look for our eyes. And then we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of mascara on as well. And I am going to use my e.l.f. mascara. It's the plumping mascara. Plump those lashes. Make them look thick and long. I naturally have long lashes. Sometimes I like to use falsies, but we'll see if we could achieve it. How about it, right? We're almost done. Actually, I don't think we need to put on our magnetic lashes today. I think I'll let them take a break. But I'm definitely going to use eyeliner for sure. What do you think, Sebastian? Looking good? Okay. Okay, so we are going to use just a little bit of liner so we could get that character look. I want to wing it out just a little bit. want to exaggerate it for sure. All right. And then we kind of want to go like this so our mascara isn't going all over the lid. So now we have our open character eyes, almost kind of a little anime. That's kind of what we're going for. She is a cartoon. So looking good? I think he approves. Okay, and I think our last step is going to go ahead and we're going to do our lips. And I'm going to find my awesome lipstick. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Definitely want to go definitely does Disney princess style. All right. And there we go. This is our little mermaid look. What do you think? I like it. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little look. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. All righty, have a wonderful day, goodbye.